It all starts with a few slender pieces of charcoal. Rubbing. Scrutinizing. Scraping. It's pretty unique, I think, for somebody like myself to, to have the opportunity that I have. At times, drawing at a feverish pace. At other times, more deliberately. It's almost like kind of getting into the zone. Then that's what you're striving for when you're working on the pictures. But this isn't your average artwork. Mark Gilbert was commissioned by UNMC for the Patient Caregiver Portraiture Project. Gilbert's known worldwide for mixing medicine with art. Today, the Glasgow, Scotland native is drawing ALS patient Roger Poulin. It's a challenge, um, and there's obviously all kinds of anxieties. You know, I think it's, it takes a certain amount of courage at the best of times to have your portrait painted. From his loft at the Bemis Center, Gilbert draws people like Roger, people facing insurmountable odds, people whose pictures and portraits will be part of an exhibit next year. I'm obviously in this kind of privileged position of working with people during what is many times the most tra traumatic moments maybe of their lives. It captures something in a way that a, photo a photograph can't. Dolores Poulin's husband can't walk, can't talk, has been forced into a motorized wheelchair by the most unforgiving of diseases. But she says this is something Roger definitely wanted to do. It would give Roger an opportunity to be able to contribute something, and that's very important to him. Dolores says her husband wants the pictures to teach people about ALS. It's his chance to do something while struggling with a disease that barely lets him do anything. I see in his eyes, I just see um, his uh, determination and his spirit, his acceptance, his willingness to help. Mark will eventually do paintings of Roger and other subjects, but it's the finished product that he is really looking forward to. I hope that people going to see the exhibition view it as, you know, will be saddened, will be moved, will be maybe even made to feel angry, but will come away thinking that actually they've had a constructive and positive experience. Mark Gilbert, one more person making the Heartland proud.